The movie's tagline is, A story so unbelievable, it must be true. The film Bernie casts a spotlight on East Texas with the likes of Jack Black, Shirley MacLaine, and Matthew McConaughey playing folks known well by Carthage residents. And more than 15 years later, the bizarre events surrounding the murder of Marjorie Nugent by Bernie T.D. are still drawing heartfelt and polar reactions from the people portrayed in the upcoming film. But the differences don't stop there. The folks involved and the townspeople of Carthage also have strong feelings about making a dark comedy about the grisly crime. Panola County District Attorney Danny Buck Davidson isn't unpleased with the choice of McConaughey to play his character, despite the somewhat less than striking resemblance. Mr. McConaughey does a very good job of taking care of himself and me in the movie, but that's not really, really the way. But he does question the balance of the storyline. I do think that Jack Black may have talked to Barney and got some ideas on the movie. Uh, but uh, he, obviously he couldn't talk to his new. Bernie himself said from a small room with glass windows in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Unit near New Boston that he thinks the movie could shed light on his plight. I thought if a movie could be made that would, that would show both sides of that, of that coin, you know, let people decide in, the, in, the, in the, the court of public opinion as to what, you know, actually happened. What, 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 how do we stand, you know? And he's more than a little pleased at the pick of Jack Black to rep him. To me, he says, wow, he says, uh, you're, you're, I'm not near tall enough to play you. And I said, because he's, you know, fairly short compared to what I am. And I, he said, but the magic of the camera will make me look taller. So, uh, the problem I have is turning it into a comedy, making it funny. There is nothing funny about it. Whereas his attorney at the time, Scrappy Holmes, was invited to see the premiere, it wasn't exactly on his bucket list. I skipped the last time that he called me that my favorite job is being a grandfather. And I was involved in taking my grandbabies to Destin for a week. And so I chose that over going to see this movie. The community overlooked a woman who was so prominent missing all of a sudden and somebody spending her money willy now. You know, that's almost comedic as much as it is tragic. Carlton Schamberger, owner of Hawthorne Funeral Home, where T.D. worked, said he had reservations about the movie too. He attended the premiere with his lawyer. And a lot of people were upset at it being what they call a black comedy, you know, because how do you make a comedy out of a uh, a death and that's what we were kind of worried about when we went up there and I just decided we wanted to go see it after we got the invitation to see what we were looking at how was it going to portray the community and all and so I actually went up there with my lawyer and some of my kids and all we went and had a good time. You know those of us here in Carthage that knew Mrs. Nugent and knew Bernie Tita uh, and worked with both of them uh, there was nothing funny about it at the time. He said he was worried about the portrayal of these Texans in the movie. The premiere, everyone has asked me since then you know you know, what was the movie like? And I say, well, if you're worried about us looking stupid, we don't. I said, the people that you know on screen, the people I know are acting the same on screen as they do every day. I said, they're the same people on screen as they are out here. And, you know, I didn't get that impression. And like I said, there's people around that you talk to them, they'll ask, they'll tell you, oh, Miss Nugent was just, you know. But I don't care how mean she was. She did not deserve to be shot and put in a freezer. Danny Buck agrees with Schamberger. But, he says, the movie wasn't so kind to the folks from San Augustine. In that movie, they make the, uh, they make the people from the jury from Shelby County, I mean, from San Augustine County, they look like they're from Deliverance. I mean, God almighty damn. And they say something like, that jury said, so damn bad, they don't even let them move out of the county. They can't leave the county or something like that. I mean. It doesn't reflect on our community because we're a trusting community and we love one another. The lead investigator in the murder, Panola County Chief Deputy David Jeter, said he wishes the movie had not been made at all. I, I kind of resent it some, you know. I, I wouldn't want that for one of my family members or anything like that. Regardless of what you think, Jack Black will soon be playing Bernie Tiedi on screens around the country in a story about murder and deception that still resonates in this small East Texas town.